Welcome back to Daniel Crane Relax, and I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day out there. Um, I hope your Thanksgiving was tip top. Um, I hope you got a lot of relaxation um, and got a lot of time off to be with your family because that's uh, one of the most important things in the world. Um, all right, uh, the next song I was playing with the music this weekend, and this one caught me, and it's already on my playlist on my Apple phone. But uh, um, I thought I'd go ahead and play it for you guys. Have you tell me what you think. Uh, do they do it better than Motley Crue? That's a hint. Um, so without further ado, we're going to be doing Nemophilia, Shout at the Devil. I know the song. Don't know their version that well. Um, I know that there's a lot of guitars. So... Um, I'll have my comments at the end, and uh, yeah, let's rock. Sorry about that, but uh, anyway, as far as Nemophilia goes, uh, that's just as good as Molly Cruz's version. Um, her voice almost sounds the same, too, uh, when she's hitting those gruffer notes. Um, not when she's up high, but when she's like more in the middle to lower. 
Um, man, great job. I mean, Tommy Lee would be proud of the drummer. That's for sure. Um, yeah, no, that's that a great song. It's a little bit faster than the original, which I don't mind. Um, I do like covers as long as they're done good. Um, and you respect the artist you're covering, you know. Um, yeah. So, anyway, all right, you guys. I'm going to have to say that one goes workout, playlist, I mean, pop, party, relaxation, maybe not relaxation, working around the house and like list. So, it's a four out of five from uh, DCR. Um, so, that being said. I need some more nemophilia songs because uh, I really am just touching the tip of the iceberg with them and I would like to uh, go farther into the rabbit hole. So if you guys out there um, have any, let me know, please. Because uh, let me know your favorites because that way I can just, you know, go ahead and throw them on. And if you don't want me to put your name on anything or something like that, um, just let me know and I won't even call you out, you know. That, that's fully up to you guys. Um, I also will be starting Christmas music today. Uh, 28 Days of Christmas. So we're going to have 28 rocking Christmas songs. Until then. Um, I really, really appreciate every one of you that shows up um, and listens to the music. Um, even if you click me off. Uh, if you request and you hit like or you just comment and tell me what's up. Um, that all helps. That's all great. And I, you know what? There's about 85%. No, it's 82% of the people on, on here, um, are not subscribed. So please just hit that subscribe button. Um, don't, don't hit notifications if you don't want to, cause you know, I'm always posting like five to seven to eight videos, um, per day. And I understand if you don't want to hear it. ding, 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 ding. No, I get it. Um, but if you could hit that subscribe button, that would really help me out a lot. Um, it will help our group get bigger, better, stronger, and more knowledgeable with music around the world, which is what I'm starting already to do. I mean, uh, what is it? 15% of the viewers that are subscribed live in Japan. Um, so that's one thing to think about. You know, we're, if we could just go around the world and just see what's going on. Let's see what they're doing to rock, you know. Um, I only care for Russian rock, though, if, if the Russians are out of the country and, and disavowed Putin. Because that, that whole Ukraine-Russia thing is just BS. Um, I say just leave them alone. They left you alone. Leave them alone. Um. All right, you guys, before I go on, I'm ramble on that one because there's politics involved and I do not want to bring in politics. I'm sure you guys dealt with enough politics this weekend. Um, yeah, uh, so let's see. I got one more song. Actually, no. No, next will be the Christmas song. So the Christmas song I'm going to do is the Band-Aid. I know, Band-Aid, Band-Aid. Uh, Band-Aid, do they know it's Christmas? Um, that's where like all the stars of the 80s came out and uh, basically did a fundraiser video uh, to make a ton of money and throw it to Africa because during that time Africa was suffering big droughts and starvation was rapid and, and uh, yeah it was a bad situation there um, so um, I don't know I feel that's the beginning of Christmas and something to think about and put into your heart you know you know what I mean because that may not be them right now. That might be the children in Gaza. Or that might be the children in uh, Israel. Or that might be the children in Ukraine right now. They're having to basically starve and, you know, not live a good life because of everything going on. Um, so, I don't know. More people should probably listen to this song. But uh, I doubt they will. All right, you guys. Do me a favor. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'm going to go ahead and catch you on the flip side.